In this time of the pandemic, quarantine, lockdown, social distancing, whatever you want to call it, it's weird, but with my time, I've chose to be highly creative. In fact, I've had so much more time now that I don't have a two hour commute to work every single day. It just saved me two hours every single day, which is absolutely amazing. I've chosen to invest that in creativity. I'm a visual artist, I'm a musician, I'm a YouTuber, storyteller, all that stuff. And I've really maximized all of that and I'm really grateful for it. Specifically in this time, I've also done a collaboration with a friend that I'm super, super excited about. Just to give like a background, my friend set up a page on Instagram and she talked about different art stuff and I was like, hey, I'd love to do a collaboration with you. We should totally move forward with something. So basically like I'm into spiritual stuff, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. And uh, you know, I basically thought like, let's do something, you know, beautiful, spiritual, mandala or you know, something like that. So we kind of just moved forward and she was like, you come up with design, meaning me. And this little meditator is what I came up with, with the uh, yin and yang in the middle of it. And then like kind of like vibrational lines slash waves around the outside. Yeah, it was really cool. There were, you know, there was just different parts where like I had to like, you know, refine it and like correct it and everything. Sent it over to her. She sent me a video about the first one that came out and it had that, it was beautiful. Um, it had the ohm symbol on the back of it and everything. I really liked that. My girlfriend ended up really liking that one. And so she also asked for one of them as well. And it just, it ended up being a really cool collaboration. And collaborating with someone, you know, a friend was really cool. And I'm really pumped on the fact that I even did it because it's so different from working by yourself. It's a completely different kind of atmosphere, universe, realm, environment, whatever you want to call it. Because you're working with someone else. You're working with a completely other, you know, idea. And, you know, it's the same thing that so many people go through, you know, when you're working with a band, you know, you've got a team you got to work with. And it's rewarding because it's more so about the creation rather than the I. And that's something that I really got out of it. It's something that I thoroughly enjoyed, at, you know, really out of it. And it's interesting too, because like when these projects go on, you know, in the very beginning, it's something that maybe you want to have be perfected, right? But the fact of the matter, in my opinion, coming out of this experience, the perfection behind it actually lies in the relationship, the connection, the collaboration. And there's some seriously beautiful energy there. And it's like, you know, I've done art on my own my entire life. You know, I've thought about doing a piece, started the piece, worked on the piece, finished the piece, done. And it's like kind of just like a one-way road. But then when you're working in collaboration, there's a whole beautiful, you know, universe of like, let's figure out how these two ideas can come together and create something amazing. And sometimes maybe it gets like really weird, you know, maybe uh, you don't like it. But the fact of the matter is that you learn something. And that's what I love about collaborations. And this is something that I'm definitely going to be looking forward to more moving forward as an artist is working, you know, with teams, working in collaborations and just seeing what comes of it because Think about it this way, when you're working on something by yourself, you're thinking a very specific way, right? Think about whenever maybe you experience something like writer's block or that creative block, right? Well, what if working in a collaboration actually ended up opening the gate of that writer's block and have you pouring through because simply you just had to see something, you know, maybe you had to see this upside down for it to make sense who knows like it's like literally it's all about perspective and this is why having that second opinion having that third fourth fifth sixth however many people you're working with having those opinions changes everything because like maybe it can even transform the way that you see life <laughs> like that's how wild it is like just seeing something differently and think about how many times you approach something and think of it the same exact way approaching it every single time. But then someone's insight, someone's creative idea allows you to see it in a completely different light. 
and a better one, you know, one that actually changes the way that you experience life. And that's what's so beautiful about collaborations. I'm so glad I did it. You know, it was just, it was so much fun. Working with someone who's creative, I, I love it. The creative process, it's just such a beautiful journey. And being able to realize that it's more so about the relationship and the connection and the collaboration rather than the I and the I did this and that needs to be out there and it needs to be like this and it's not like that because the actual real beauty behind it all actually exists in the collaboration not the piece like the fact that there is this connection between two people that are able to bring ideas together and work productively with them and create something beautiful something that people can identify and connect with and it's just such a rewarding process so i'm really excited for this like this is this is really cool and i do remember putting together a video earlier on documenting this process but unfortunately ended up getting out of focus which was weird ridiculous anyway um i'm super pumped on this and what i like about this i do this a lot by the way <laughs> what i like about this is I realized that it's going to end up being an entirely different piece of artwork. Like, in and of itself, I'm going to create an artwork, a piece of artwork, you know, entirely dedicated to this concept because I love it. And I just, I love coming to those kinds of conclusions. It's so cool. It really is. Um, but yeah, I think that the fact of the matter is that I chose to, from a very early point, like in this time of like isolation and like, you're gonna have a lot of time on your hands. So like, you know, choose what you do. I was just like, I'm gonna be creative. Regardless of what I feel, I will bring those emotions to the table <laughs> and I will create something, you know, whatever it is. It doesn't need to be perfect. And that's the beauty of it. I'm glad that I've come to this realization because so many people are challenged by thinking that it needs to be perfect and it simply does not. Just create. <laughs>